Hello my friends, this is the installation of the grow towers in my aquaponic system. Starting with 10 gauge galvanized fencing wire, I'm manufacturing 200 S hooks. The wire is first cut into workable lengths. A bending jig is first manufactured from scrap metal that I had laying around. Um, a caution when you're welding, if it's galvanized like this is, uh, you have to have good ventilation or the fumes are toxic. If you don't have access to a welder, you can make a similar jig using dowel rods and a wooden block. The end of the wire is positioned between the two stationary points and bent around one pin and then in an S shape around the second pin and that completes the bend. The same is done with the second end of the wire. This is repeated over and over about 200 times. The S hooks are now being removed from the wire with bolt cutters. I'm going to adjust the shape of the S to be more suitable for hanging the towers. I'm making a tight closed loop on one end and an open loop on the second end that will be inserted into the tower. This is a roll of gutter guard. It's plastic and it costs about nine dollars a roll. This is going to be used to make bottom end stops at the base of each of the grow towers. After the plastic screening is cut to square shape, I'm folding it into a cone and pushing it into the end of the uh, bottom end of the grow tower and securing it with zip ties. It's secured at three different points and the excess material and the ends of the zip ties are removed with the scissors. This screen in the bottom of the grow towers will keep the grow medium from falling out of the bottom. I'm using straw as a grow medium for these towers. I'm loosely packing the towers uh, using this stick as a ramrod. I'm making sure that the straw makes it all the way to the bottom of the grow tower.
I'll continue feeding straw into the tube until it fills the entire length. One bale of straw is enough to fill dozens of grow tower tubes. Here is the finished tube of loosely packed straw. The towers hang from an overhead support rail uh, using cotton clothesline. An S hook will be tied to both ends of the line. The height of the tower is now adjusted to be one to two inches above the bottom of the drain gutter. This height is set by where the S hook is knotted to the cotton clothesline. This is the hole punch to knock a hole into the water supply line for the drip tubing. The water supply is under pressure. As the hole is punched in, water starts seeping out. The drip tube has a pointed insert and it snaps into the water supply line and you can see the water is flowing through the drip tube. Drip tube is inserted through the eyelet of one of the hooks and into the top of the tower into the hay medium. This procedure is repeated again for the second grow tower. These towers are allowed to soak overnight before planting. plant a seedling, I take the seedling, push the hay, a straw away from the edge of the grow tower, insert the seedling, and then back some of the straw back up against the root. The straw is all soaking wet since it's set overnight. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.